Hi guys, I'm Miss Randy, and I am the Lyrical Contemporary Teacher here at Students Lab. Um, I wanted to talk today a little bit more about the difference between lyrical dance and contemporary dance. Um, often at competitions, they are kind of blended together or um, kind of seem similar, so I just want to identify for you guys kind of the difference. So lyrical comes from the idea that you're dancing to the lyrics, that's why it's called lyrical. Um, but it tends to be in competitions, whenever you're seeing lyrical dance, you're generally seeing some form of, form of combination of jazz and ballet. So it's going to be very up, uplifting, not necessarily within the storyline, but within your movement. You're going to be a lot more up and off the floor. Um, and contemporary actually derives from a type of dance called modern. Um, back whenever modern was first being made, it was kind of the opposite of ballet. It was people rebelling against um, European ballet. And after modern was made, there was something called post-contemporary modern. Um, and that's kind of where people started just pulling the name contemporary out of. Um, it's a very interesting thing these days because we still seem to kind of mix up the two things, even stylistically, choreographically, and also just within our training. So now you know contemporary is more driven from modern, which is a lot more floor work swinging, flexed feet, and lyrical is more derived from ballet and jazz, which are more classical, uplifted um, dances that are like on your toes or um, in classical positions like arabesque, first position, and so on and so forth. We do combine the two often, um, so never will you really truly learn a, just a lyrical dance or just a contemporary dance, but it's really important to know the difference between the two.